Right, respecting teachers, respecting your gurus. Yeah. Or... In the Malay world, we have to say that masuk kandang kambing mengembe. When you enter or you join the sheep, you go back. Masuk kandang kerbau ngua. When you enter a group of flock of water buffalo, and you make the sound like water buffalo, you hang around with the group. So meaning that that is adapting. Alright, when you learn the Malay arts, you adapt to the Malay culture. If not, don't call silat. You doing silat? You see how you the way you respect your teacher. The Mahaguru expression is to sit down and put his hand on your forehead, respecting him as your teacher, so that he bless you, and the art stays with you. That's what we all believe in the Malay world. But if you don't want to do that, you're not doing silat. Silat is not just martial arts; it's a way of life. It's culture. Makes you all that that package make you a better person. So some people say, "Hey, you know, you're bowing down to another human being." Well, that means you are the wrong place at the wrong time. You want to do silat? You follow the culture. If you don't just take the fighting art and forget the culture, then you can't call it silat. You can call it Jack Osman supreme combative techniques, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So so you want to do silat? Then you do silat. That's how it's supposed to be. It's not that you're bowing down to the floor like you're bowing down to God. This is just an elderly person who gave you the knowledge. So you're respect. saluting. You're showing respect. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're saluting. You're showing respect.